1993. I had found Alia. Five and a half months pregnant with her. It was so traumatizing, especially even to just disclose to my family members it wasn't easy. In Kenya as a whole, um, there are about uh, 82,000 new cases of cancer diagnosed in Kenya. was in cancer hospital in India with my sister. I learned how to do self-examination and as I was examining myself, I found a lump. And immediately I went to see a doctor. And the doctor told me, this is, after examining me, this is 90% cancer. I was diagnosed in uh, 2005, June, when I was five and a half months pregnant with her, my second child. Cancer is a chronic disease. Uncontrolled growth of cells in the body. Until they form a tumor mass or a growth or sometimes they infiltrate the blood. There is no one person who is immune to cancer from babies to elderly people, from wazes to watoto, no one is immune to cancer. Cancer has enough uh, causes, I cannot list them. So many including the everyday chemicals we need, the TV you face, the, the lotions we use, the sprays we use, the food we eat, the water we collect, all sorts of things are potential carcinogenic as we call them causes of cancer. Most of the time we don't know the cause, uh, but um, a few lifestyle related risk factors like smoking, using alcohol have been known to cause cancer. Sometimes it could be genetic. Presence of any risk factor does not mean that one can get cancer. A risk factor is something that increases your chances of getting any cancer or any other disease for that matter. I had found earlier, but I did not know uh, much about uh, this pro prostate problem. I came to learn it now when I started now coming to the hospital. I had to go to cancer. When I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital. 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 And I went through mastectomy, chemotherapy. Then I did chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and currently I'm taking a drug called tamoxifen, which is a hormonal drug. The doctor will do a clinical examination, take your history, and then that will be followed by what is called a biopsy. A biopsy, they will take some tissue from the swelling or from the cancerous growth that you have, which will go to the laboratory to confirm that you have cancer. And that's mainly for solid cancers. For blood cancers, sometimes they can diagnose it just through looking at blood. The treatment uh, options uh, varies. It depends on the type of the cancer, where it is, the stage of the disease, okay? And the circumstances surrounding the person. Uh, for example, if you may be having breast cancer and you are in Wajir, you know, if the, the treatment options include uh, removing the whole of your breast or removing just the lump and followed by radiotherapy. So when the radiotherapy is not available in Wajir, then we prefer that that patient will have the whole breast removed so they don't need to come to Nairobi for radiotherapy, for example. So that's circum circumstances I'm talking about. But generally the treatment options will include surgery, includes chemotherapy, radiotherapy, okay? Also supportive therapy. Supportive means good nutrition, pain management, counseling, palliative care, hospice care, okay? And even spiritual care. All those, they come in because it's a complex disease. When I came from theater, I remember the doctor told me I'll end up with, okay, I'll not be passing stool normally. So he started coming back, but 
you know there's theory and there's practical now I was being told but now I'm seeing it so it was very different I asked this nurse can you help me to to change the bag you're talking about and she's like you know what you're telling me my dear you're telling me to it's like what you're telling me is like you're asking me to carry tissue and follow you to the toilet and they said ah, okay but you're telling me of a bag that I don't know so that is what I got from the hospital and it wasn't a small hospital it was a big hospital I didn't want to mention the name but um, after a week there's a nurse, another nurse now who came. He told me that this is called a colostomy bag and this hole that is made through your stomach is where your stool will be passing through. And after this bag is filled, you have to take it off and put another one, clean the area, put another one. So this totally changed my life. And to be honest, I was so, so depressed because I can say that I didn't go through any counseling before and after this. Many people are aware about cancer. Is only the expense. Some people go for treatment, you are given a prescription for chemotherapy. You cannot afford chemotherapy. What, so what they do, they keep, they keep the prescription and they don't go for treatment. She knew mommy had to go back to hospital because she was sick. Her breast was swollen and uh, she was going to have her breast taken out. She was two and a half, so she could not understand cancer. She was a newborn baby. You, for them, you are a newborn baby, so cancer was not. Ispokuwa ni the relationship wa kaswari ni saidia ninge fanya nini saizi singe kuwa hapa. Lafte na bado mungu wa kasaidia wa watu wa 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 ili wa isi kolostomi bags watu wa gakar. Finding the medication was not diff was not easy. We went through several companies looking for it. Then six chemotherapies, and it's been a very gruesome experience because when I <coughs> when I entered the hospital, I was uh, quite a big-bodied lady, quite big. How can I say? I started losing weight so fast because they, they warned me that you have to eat well. Sahi to Nasaidiwa na Mpisha, Naga Kan Hospital, Ata Kinyata Kunakuaga na support group. Na hapa nyumbani, tuko wa mama wengi, Zaidi Akumi, wako na breast cancer, na tunakutana nao na tunasaidiana. It was very hard for them to understand because cancer, Mazeti is cancer, they didn't know what cancer is. It was very difficult dealing with that, you know, talking to them and really reassuring them that cancer is just a disease like any other. You know, people die of mosquito bites. <laughs> I mean, it's all big deal. <laughs>